as Christianity and Protestantism in particular fractured into 33,000 denominations, each one claiming that the Bible and the Bible alone is the criterion by which they manage their lives. So if we study the Bible and we take all of these doctrinal issues and we place them on the table in an orderly fashion from creation all the way through to the second coming and even further the post-millennial cleansing of the earth and the eradication of sin from the universe, then we have to have a logical sequence which makes a whole without any disharmony in the biblical text at all. And that is the reason why I became a Seventh-day Adventist. If I take my own life, my father was a Roman Catholic, my mother was a Lutheran. I put the criteria of the Bible in juxtaposition with Catholicism, and I found it wanting. I found that God says there is only one sacrifice. I found that God says, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden. I found that God said there is only one advocate and one intercessor between God and man, and that is the man Christ Jesus. I find no room for other intercessors. I find no room in this plain statement of the Bible for all the intermediaries that are put into the Catholic system of worship. I find no biblical criteria for images or statues or veneration of such. I find none of these in the Bible. Also the question of immortality. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Catholicism says that the soul is immortal. But the Bible says, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. So if I take all of those criteria, then I have to say to myself, I cannot be a Roman Catholic. And when I take modern Lutherism, then I see that it has digressed from what Martin Luther taught. What modern Protestantism teaches is not the same as Martin Luther taught on the issue of death and resurrection, for example. Then there's the question of the Sabbath day. Protestantism and Catholicism doesn't keep the seventh day, they keep the first day of the week. And if I take all of these criteria, then I have no choice but to follow the biblical path. And I have found that Seventh-day Adventism teaches all of these issues. It teaches that we are the temple of God and that we should take care of our health, not as a means to salvation, but as a consequence. But not only the issue of health, the issue of the doctrine of the second coming, the doctrine of the resurrection, the doctrine of the millennium, the doctrine of the Sabbath, the doctrine of the law, the doctrine of grace, the doctrine of the harmony between law and grace, that grace and mercy and justice kissed each other at the cross. All of these come together in Seventh-day Adventism. So I'm a Seventh-day Adventist not because they are perfect people. In fact, the Bible says that they are a hospital. They are a sick people. They need eye solve. They need a robe of righteousness, they need gold refined in the fire. It is a crucible. It is a place where we rub against each other, where there are many conflicts of interest, where study of the word should be paramount in determining truth. And if it is Bible-based, if it is truth according to the Bible, then I want it. And I have found that this denomination is Bible-based, and the doctrines which they teach 
can be substantially proved within the biblical paradigm.